Hey hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about a unique product called as Atom S3 Lite USB Ducky. It is a compact programmable design from M5 stack, usually used for security and automation task. It mimics a USB keyboard to execute predefined commands on connected computers. It uses ESP32 S3 chip for connectivity and can be easily programmed using the Arduino IDE or MicroPython. This product is available in Robo.in which is a retailer specializing in electronic components, robotic kits and much more. As you can see, the product is currently out of stock and it costs around 1000 rupees. You can check for more information in their website. After 4 days of shipping, I finally received my product and as you can see, it is quite tiny. Now to get started, we are going to use the flock 4 h repository. In this repository, as you can see, the application provides HID attacks. You have Wi-Fi access point mode, network mode. You can configure your own access points and much more. Here you can see this application is available for our version Atom S3 Lite. Now we are going to install CircuitPython for our device. CircuitPython allows users to select their specific boards and download the corresponding firmware. I'll search for my board Atom S3 Lite and here I'm going to download the bootloader. I'll click on download. So once it's downloaded, I'll unzip the file. Now that it's done, we need another application, the ESP tool. ESP tool is a command line utility for flashing firmware onto ESP32 microcontrollers. I'll just download the setup for Windows from their official website. After I've downloaded it, I'll extract the files. ESP tool allows users to perform tasks such as erasing flash memory, writing new firmware and monitoring serial output. Now that it's done, I'll go to my bootloader file and copy the combine.bin file into the ESP tool folder. Parallelly, we'll connect our device with our laptop using the Type-C data cable. Now we'll open a CMD terminal in the given path. To find out on which port our device is connected, we'll use the mode command and here you can see it is connected on COM11. Now for a second command, we'll go back to our repository and I'll just copy this command and paste it on my terminal. We'll have to make a few changes. Now I'll just remove the excessive path since we are already in the directory. Here we'll change from COM13 to COM11 and then I'll just add a dot exe here. Now that it's done, we'll start the flashing process. I'll just hit enter. We'll wait for the flashing to be completed. Now that our flashing has been completed, I'll disconnect the Type-C cable from my device and plug it again. After this process, we are able to see our device name on a PC. Now, to install CircuitPython on this drive, I'll go back to my CircuitPython website and download the UF2 file. I'll click on download and I'll copy this file and paste it on the Atom S3 boot drive that we just created. During this process, we can see that the device will be reset automatically and a new drive will be created called as CircuitPy. Now that CircuitPython has been successfully installed on a drive, we'll go back to our GitHub repository and download the main file. After downloading the Atom Ducky zip file, I'll extract it and you can see there are two folders. Here I will copy the contents of both the folders and paste it on my CircuitPy drive.
Now your Atom S3 comes with a default Wi-Fi name. To change it, I'll go to the Atoms folder and make changes in the config file. Here you can see you have a default IP for your Wi-Fi and I'll change my SSID to TechEyes and I'll give a password as 128. Upon saving this, our Wi-Fi we just created will be available locally. Now we will again connect our device to our laptop. In my mobile, I can see the Wi-Fi we just created is visible. I'll just enter the credentials and yes, now it is connected. Basically, we are connected to the Atom S3 Lite Wi-Fi. Now we'll use the IP we just saw in a config file and paste it on a browser. And here you can see we have an interface. We are also being provided with certain options which we can use. I'll use the first option, Inject Payload where I have used a small script and on executing it, it will redirect me to my YouTube channel automatically. In the live keyboard option, we can type commands and it will be reflected on our computer screen. The rubber mode option allows you to automatically execute scripts once connected on your laptop or PC. This script is just opening a browser and redirecting it to my YouTube channel. Devices like Atom S3 Lite can be used for physical pen testing, but it is also important to obtain authorization before testing systems. That's all from my side. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe to my channel for further updates.